I was born with a bone disability called multiple epiphyseal dysplasia, um, which basically means that my, my bones don't grow properly, the, the growing ends are kind of misshapen, um, so my range of movement is quite limited and you know, the joint pain and there's some things that I can't do which um, I wish I could do but yeah. yeah my disability is kind of like a blessing in disguise really because I it's given me so many opportunities like to play Paralympic table tennis and, and like achieve things that you know wouldn't have been possible otherwise. I don't think I really ever saw myself as disabled as such or having a disability and I think growing up I always tried to do things that like my brother used to do and I um I kind of never really let that hold me back. I think, well, it was the best experience of my life by far, like London 2012, uh, and also the biggest disappointment of my life as well, because, you know, obviously I wanted to take a medal and I was, I was a little bit unlucky as well. I'd suffered, you know, a broken arm the year before. So I think, you know, you need, you need an element of luck to win a big tournament. And um, hopefully this year I, I can get that. I think it definitely helps to get over disappointments having a, another target to aim for. And I think as soon as I lost my final match in London, like my, my eyes would turn straight towards Rio and I knew that, you know, 2016 was the time where I could put things right and also just, you know, fulfil my potential kind of thing. So my ultimate aim for Rio is obviously to do the best that I can do. And, and I think just to do myself justice really, like my dream is to win a medal and I'm definitely capable of that.